Hello and welcome back. Problem 1.12. The statement of problem is that for the Pratt Bridge Truss as loading shown, determine the average normal stress in the member BE knowing that cross-sectional area of uh, the member is 5.87 inch square, square inch. So this is a Pratt Bridge. You can see the loading shown over here. There are 80 kips, 80 kips, and 80 kips load at is given at point C, E, and G. So we will start from given data. It is given that this is Pratt Bridge Truss clear, and the uh, you have to find the average uh, you have to find the normal stress in member be knowing that cross sectional area of be is 5.87 square inch clear what you have to find you have to find the normal stress in member be so let's start with solution now from this uh, figure you can see that the, this uh, pred bridge truss is supported at point a and h so we have to remove this support and instead of this support we have to uh, we have to give the reaction forces so let the reaction forces at point a is a y Similarly, there will be horizontal force AX and reaction support at point H is H. Clear? So this will be free body diagram and using the entire, we will, I will write it, use entire truss as free body diagram. To find out this unknown reaction forces ay ax and h so we will apply the first equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point h is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so you can see moment at point h is due to these forces one is 80 80 80 and due to this a y force so let's start with the first force this one a 80 80 into perpendicular distance is 9 feet and since this is producing clock counterclockwise so this will be positive similarly another force which is producing counterclockwise movement is 80 and now the total distance is 18 plus the third force which is 80 kips so 80 into perpendicular distance is now 27 and this a y force so and this is producing clockwise movement clear so minus a y into total distance is now 36 because 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 which is 36 and their sum must be equal to 0 so when you calculate from this you will get a y is equal to 120 kips so this is a y clear we know uh, this a y you can also find a h by using the equation sum of all forces along y direction is equal to zero and taking the upward movement as positive but here we are considering the we are going to find out the force in be member so we will cut this truss over here and we will draw the free body diagram as well so let draw this free body diagram if you cut it over here i will show you what will be it well it what will be the diagram clear so there is a this is the point where we have a y clear and this is the point where uh, this is point c where we have 
ET keeps clear. This is point B. This is point A. This is the when you cut the uh, the truss over here. So the force in this member will be FBD. In this member, it will be F B E and in this member it will be F C E so now we will we are interested in finding out this F B E so you can see you can apply the equation um, equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero so you can see one force is in y direction is this one is this and the other one is the vertical component of F B E now if you look at this uh, at this portion so you can see that this is 9 feet, this is 12 feet. So this BE length is, will be 50. So B, I will write it over here. This BE will be equal to uh, CE square, CE square plus BC square. And this is also square. So C is 9, so 9 square plus bc is 12 feet 12 square this will be equal to be square so it will be equal to under the root 81 plus 144 is equal to be square so be will be equal to 15 feet so this is 15 feet now this is the angle let this angle is theta so what if i take cos theta so cos theta will be equal to um, bc over bc over be so bc is 12 and b is 15 clear okay so we will move toward the equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about y direction must be equal to zero now you can see there is a load a y which is 120 kips and it is upwards so 120 minus this 80 kips so minus 80 and the other one is minus if this is the angle theta so its vertical component will be equal to f cos of theta because you can see if i project it over here so this is the force its horizontal component it, it's, its vertical component the the force the component of force which is in y direction will be f cos theta clear their sum must be equal to zero so 120 minus 80 minus F and we know that cos of theta is equal to 12 by 5 so 12 by 15 since this force is FBE so I will write it FBE BE FBE this sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get this FBE will be equal to 50 kips now you have this fbe you know that stress in member be is equal to force in be divided by cross sectional area of be you have this 50 kips clear and the area is given as in be is 5.87 87 square inch so definitely you will get the stress in be will be equal to 8.52 ksi so this is the answer i hope you have a clear understanding about such type of problem thank you for watching